The reasons were plentiful um, of why we decided to get a grocer farm. Um, one of the main reasons was that we really identified the need to fill a gap that we were facing um, for a good seven or eight months of our year, uh, where we were unable to get an abundance of locally produced fresh greens from our local producers. So um, even though we are getting a, some of this beautiful food grown by local producers uh, all year round, we just were not meeting the needs of our customers and our members. So when we started researching how we could mitigate that problem, I found the grocer uh, company and started to do some research. I loved that they were Canadian. And then when I did get in touch with them, they were really attentive with us um, and very patient also with us because we had a lot of steps to take before we could actually finalize a purchase. It was just a, a really, really tangible solution to something that we felt was going to become a growing problem with food access. Our customers are saying that the lettuce that we're producing here is the best lettuce they've ever had. One of the biggest compliments that we get here on a daily is that this food does not go bad in their fridges. We literally have had people say that two and three weeks in their fridge, this lettuce is still absolutely viable and delicious to eat. So that's a really, really huge aspect of um, what makes us realize that we need to do more. We have one farm and it's still not enough. We're needing to, to, to even do more than we're doing, but we haven't bought any lettuce from out of country since we started the grocer project. We also are really, really big on creating meaningful job creation and we've been able to um, do that through the grocer. So we've been able to draw further education and skills building and development with two different people in our community. And we really do feel like, you know, being able to create jobs while creating an incredible product for hundreds of people, uh, it's win-win for everybody. So yeah, I think really we're just, we're meeting our goals to put good food into the hands of more people where we live. The fact that Kyle Jodick, our mural painter, um, was willing to come up here and do this was such a gift for us and, and how he really incorporated the story of our grocer unit into the history of Canada and the, the colors and the, the vibrancy of it just really speak to what's happening inside of it because they are kind of just big steel containers. Uh, so when you can when you can do something like that, it says a lot. It's a it's a part of the communication plan, I think, that goes with um, you know doing a project like this. I guess the biggest thing for me is being able to see like just how the towns kind of come around it and pretty excited to to be you know have this in the community. I get a lot of customers who have come up to me you know, great things about the kale, like they've never had kale this uh, succulent and soft and, and nice before. And myself, I don't need a lot of kale, but the lettuces, like the romaine, I do enjoy the romaine and all the lettuces are, are great. Hubby is nice, uh, so you, you kind of have this second vestibule here that's kind of just like this buffer uh, before you get into the farm, obviously for pests and, and, you know, all kinds of other things coming in through. So this kind of gives you a little bit of buffer before you get into where, where the, all, all the action happens. Um, the hub's great because it does give you some extra space for, for what you need. And then eventually if you end up having more farms, there's the three other spots that are pre-cut all ready to go. So if you wanted to add another farm here or farm there, then you still have this great vestibule um, to use um, as kind of just like a, a little buffer before you get into the farm. One really positive aspect of working with Grocer is that we were given autonomy and the freedom to execute this project how we envisioned it with the assistance and the really professional expertise of the Grocer team standing with us. So the beautiful thing about that is, you know, I don't want to see change with the, with the personnel that are in there. However, it's bound to happen eventually. And I just know that when transitions are happening with, within it, that the grocer team will be our constant. 
I think that it is inevitable that if you are maximizing your production and things are going as planned, uh, that uh, your project will be a profitable, profitable project. Um, the lovely thing about walking 50 meters from the place we're growing to the place we're selling is that we aren't having to add distribution costs to our bottom line. So uh, we are able to offer the lettuces more affordably than we were able to offer it when we were bringing it in from California or Southern Ontario. I think it's been really amazing seeing the response of our funders uh, when they are coming now to visit and see what we're actually doing here, I can see their hearts also exploding with joy that this is actually um, being, it is successful and it's being embraced by the community and that their investment in us has already worked. It's really fulfilling just seeing all the customers coming in and saying what they're saying, seeing Devin and our other staff member thriving in their roles seeing the bottom line picking up a little bit for us and then just knowing that we are literally nourishing our community with this food.